Hello everyone, yes it's JMTL, bringing you a battle with a story to tell. Tiefler Battle 100 is me versus Lena, it's a standard tiered fight, so no Giratina. I named my Pokemon after Tiefler members except for Celebi because you all remember, it is an event, so boo to name Raider. Well, I should narrate this battle sooner, not later. I lead off with my, Lena leads off with Crow. Intimidate works to lead on the show. Lena's no fool, she sees a Tief Fang. So Electivire comes in to ruin my plan. A speedy fire still can't be priority. My true speeds for speed superiority. The opponent used T-Boat, maybe expecting a flyer, but that's a bit obvious. Sorry, the fire. My can attacks at the speed of light. Electivire is now down for the rest of the fight. Porygon Z appears to ruin my spawn. I misclick my next move and chose Morning Sun. Restoring health is great, except for one detail. Still not enough to survive. Epic fail! Shock Head to rescue, and yes, he's got bulk. And you try attack strength, just made Shock Head soak. Or Spear hits for a crit and it's over. At least for PZ, now to heal with leftovers. Bronzong's up next, I'm not sure what it's got, so I better use Aura Sphere and not Nasty Plot. But Bronzong throws rocks into the air, but they don't hit shock, so he doesn't care. It's now time for a meal as both pokes devour. Next stuck is the plot, and then hidden power. It's super effective! And yet shock had lives! And now we see how much the leftovers give. Aura Sphere, why not? I like that attack. Well, Bronzong doesn't, so there's a the payback. The belt gives a ring as the opponent is gone. I just hope my next choice is the right Pokemon. Go, Nick! I think I'd choose you as more cool. And Lena swaps in her mean tentacruel. Then Nick uses Surf, so it's a great switch. And after leftovers, Tenta is down by a fifth. Toxic Spice could cause trouble, I don't have a spinner. But I guess we still don't even have a clear winner. Nick will surf again just to deal with some more pain. But now I see Tenta will T-Spike again. It's Sheshi's turn now. Hmm, I thought it could fly, but instead it gets poisoned. The movies, they lie! There's more poison spikes around the team's feet. And now we get to watch that Tenta crew eat. Expecting a Psychic to lean and cause Tenta back, and in comes that Honchkrow to take the attack. Sheshi used Seed Bomb, damage it at 0.5, but I wonder if next turn the Crow will survive. Since Sheshi has banded those Seed Bomb once more, and a critical hit gives the lead to my score. With Honchkrow away, Bronzong takes up the slack, but Sheshi can't do much with its one attack. Umbreon Big Grin comes out to play, and hits entry hazards when he enters the fray. Bronzong then uses its payback attack, but it doesn't do much, so it gets caught back. The Fighting Mushroom comes in as Umbreon curses. This particular matchup isn't quite a good versus, but defense is raised, more hits to absorb, and Volume gets poisoned by her toxic ore. The substitute appeared while Umbreon wished, but the next turn is when all hope diminished. The loom charges up as Umbreon attacked, and to make matters worse, the sub is intact. Focus Punch makes his mark, Umbreon has no chance. And behind the sub, the loom makes a dance. She recovers her HP with her poison heal, but Sheshi returns to make the Breloom squeal. Nina switches Breloom and the sub for Bronzong, and Sheshi's Zen headbutt just hits with a gong. Given the headache, Sheshi returns, and Nick reappears for just a few turns. Bronzong uses payback for 50 base power, and Nick falls to yellow, yet he won't cower. The last time we matched up, Lena switched to her water, so Nick used electric in hopes to make fodder. The steel bell stayed in, Lena's eyes went off shifty, and payback and poison brought Nick down to 50. 
Nick then decided to continue the fight. And well, it's like survival means Nick says goodnight. Knowing what is remaining, things begin to get tense. As my Jojo named Lena makes her Grandoi's appearance. Spikes and stones may break her bones, but love to see which Lena pones. The attack that sees next to the loud thunderbolt, and as we see bronze on them faints thanks to Jolt. The score is now tied up next to the balloon. An icy hidden power makes an icy kaboom! Jolt's challenge hurt by poison, but I'm not that scared. I know what comes next and I'm already prepared. Tentacruz strength is in special defense, but I know that Jotion can leave a few dents. To be honest with you, I didn't think I'd KO, but Jotion's Thunderbolt just ends the show. So, good game there, Lena. I'm glad we could fight in a civilized way. Yeah, meow, that's right. And thank you, my viewers, for watching this vid, so go leave a comment. My thanks if you did.